Hi guys, it's Allie with Chaos Monkey and I wanted to do my finish for Crochet Society Box 3 and um, as you can see over here I did end up making you can see these were the choices these guys and I made the cowl which was Marjorie's Joy cowl um, right here the only thing is I reversed my colors uh, so you can actually see it with purple in the center because I did not read the directions properly and was thinking the purple was the main color um, especially when they have the nice little examples on how to do the stitch and it was in purple too and I just I did purple so I just reversed it um, the pattern was really nice. I'm going to see how much yarn I had left here. wasn't very much. I think in the white I had, I don't even remember now, I think it was like 16 grams and this was like 11 grams um, left so I don't know what I'm going to do with that but the cotton was really nice to work with so this was the King Cole cotton in the, let me see, Cotton Soft by King Cole DK and 100% cotton in white, can't believe I forgot that, and lavender. And so yeah, it was really nice to work with, it didn't split, it was easy on the hands, and it's um, very drapey in the finished piece. I did wash and block this, I will show it on the mannequin, but it doesn't really show up too well because it's done in a Mobius. And with a piece this wide, a Mobius kind of gets a little lost. So I'm going to try to Mobius this up here. There we go. So as you can see, all that means is that it is a deliberate twist in the cowl. And you're actually working it all the way around kind of in a big figure eight as opposed to just in a circle. So I did the, the Mobius and then reversed the colors. So as you can see, I had the purple in the middle then the white, then the purple, then the white border, which is the opposite of the sample or example from the kit. So um, I definitely used up more purple, as you can see, because these were both the same size balls. So I'm kind of happy about that, because that means I probably got more purple in my cowl overall. And purple is one of my favorite colors, so I'm good with that. And I did do the Pico edge. It kind of want to curls in, but you know you're kind of seeing the front and you're kind of seeing the back on the on the Mobius as it twists. So it look the um, Picos hold up better on the front. The back they kind of fold in a little bit. But other than that, the pattern was um, a little confusing here and there. But I was only because of some of the wording and. Uh, I just figured it out. It wasn't hard. It was just, it threw me off a little bit, not just on the stitches being different, because keep in mind the, um, it's in UK terms. So when it says double crochet, you actually single crochet. That wasn't such a big deal. It was just more how the pattern was worded was a little confusing for me, but it, again, I figured it out. It wasn't a big deal. Um, yeah. So that is it. It's not very wide. I want to say I hit gauge. I used the hook provided in hit gauge. It's not going to be a big piece, um, but it can hang around the neck and, and be pretty cool. Um, this this um, crisscrossy stitch was pretty fun to do. Flew by pretty quickly. Um, everything else was pretty standard, pretty easy to do. I, I got it done really quick, probably in like a day really. Uh, on and off with other projects, um, but of course crochet for me is much much faster than knitting and all my other projects right now are knitting, so it was really nice to get something done quickly. And I did wash and block it and it still stayed, stayed nice and soft. Um, so yeah, um, it's not as soft as in the ball, but that's because the stitches are thick. You know what I mean? So, But it's still soft. Still soft and drapey. And I'll, I'll try to get some big, good pictures on the mannequin or from a distance. If I can lift this up a little bit, you can almost see how wide it is. Um, if you're really thin, you could probably put it over your shoulders and pull it down a little bit. If not, then it would just be like around the neck and um, 
yeah, you can maybe make it a shrug if you're if you're thin enough to pull it down over the shoulders, but it's really not very wide at all. But I did use almost um, out of a hundred gram ball. It used definitely used the majority. So I'd rather have some left than run out. That's for sure. So yeah, it was really fun, and I got it done pretty quick and. I'll see if I can maybe use the scraps for maybe the little, I wonder, I probably won't have enough to do the little unicorn, because I do have more white than purple. Um, they don't tell you how much is actually used in the pattern, they just say one ball each, so I might try to do a unicorn. Maybe I'll go really far, like really down on the hook size to make a smaller one to see if I can have enough... Um, enough yarn to make a little tiny one and that way I can use up the eyes and the stuffing but I haven't I haven't looked into it yet but that's an option to try to use up the rest so yeah so that's it just wanted to do a quick finish and uh, I'll talk to you guys later bye